Hey guys, what is up? This is Matt today with me once again. I'm um, sorry it's been a while, but uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Chat with Matt. I just, uh, well, um, if you know why, then uh, you know why that um, I took another break. But uh, as you can see, it is snowing outside. This is our second big snow um, of the year. Last year we got like no snow, so <laughs> this was a big improvement. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, it starts snowing like, I don't know, a few hours ago. And since I usually like to make uh, chat with Matt videos in the snow, um, what, what, what was my last chat with Matt in the snow video? I think it was back in 2018, but uh, yeah, I'm back. By the way, if you're wondering, yeah, I know, I got a zit right here. It's starting to go down a little bit. I'm kind of embarrassed to have it on the screen, but can't really do anything about it now. But uh, anyways, um, I'm going to be talking about a few things, and uh, we're going to go back inside, and I'm going to show you some Blu-rays that I got in the past few weeks. But uh, some announcements. Um, recently, they announced that Jack Black is going to be voicing Claptrap in the new Borderlands uh, movie that they just announced, as well as, um, I forgot, uh, forgot what his name was, but... Uh, I don't know, this guy's name is going to be in the new Last of Us series that's going to be out. I think it's going to be sh I think it's going to be streaming on HBO Max, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so I really want to see how that turns out. I haven't really be been getting into that many TV series recently, but yeah. As for other stuff that they just announced, um, I haven't re really been paying that much attention. Um, I've recently just been... Uh, just been doing my own thing. Um, this weekend we were supposed to like go, um, uh, my sister's birthday uh, was a few days ago and for her birthday weekend um, we were planning on doing like um, going to the beach like we were supposed to do like some whale watching thing but uh, because of the weather um, that's uh, not gonna happen so uh, my mom, um, my mom is probably just gonna take her shopping and but uh, yeah she's 17 wow I cannot believe it. Next year she'll be 18, this year I'll be 21. Wow, time really does fly. So um, as for movies, um, unfortunately they um, haven't been playing Nomad, uh, no, not Nomad, um, um, Saint Maud uh, over here. I was really hoping they would, but uh, either they just haven't shown it yet or they're just not showing it uh, near me. But that's really a shame and that light just went out over there, but uh, I really am uh, looking forward to checking that out. Uh, a movie I do wanna see this weekend, um, Probably not this weekend since the weather is um, Judas and the Black Mesa. I could stream that on HBO Max, but I heard really great things about it. And since I've been seeing some pretty, pretty okay but not great movies on HBO Max, I feel like I really think it's going to be worth seeing this one in the theater. So I'll just wait till the weather dies down, then I'll go see it. Also, um, hopefully they will be playing Nomadland uh, next week. Um, that's the one movie um, of 2020 that I really want to see before I'm um, doing my best uh, movies of the year list. And I still do have that planned. I just, um, I just, um, I'm just waiting till that movie comes out because uh, I just heard so many great things about it and um, keeping my expectations really low because I really hope it does end up really high on my list. But uh, yeah, I think Judas and the Black Mesa um, reviews came out this year, but if it also does it also count as a 2020 movie since it's going to be part of Oscar season? I don't know, but uh, I'm kind of running out of room because there surprisingly was uh, more good movies to come out this year or in 2020 than I expected. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it for my announcements. Um, I'm going to go inside before my camera gets wet. This umbrella really isn't doing much and it's a Deadpool umbrella. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go inside um, uh, to warm myself up. Then I'll show you the movies. So uh, let's get to it. All right, I'm back inside, all warmed up now. Now I'm here to talk about the the Blu-rays I got. I got these like for like about a month, so um, yeah, I just um, wanted to wait till I decided to do another chat with Matt video. Um, some of these are um, Disney Blu-rays. Um, I am a member of the Disney Rewards Club, so I can get like I can use points to get like uh, 4K Blu-rays and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's why I got some of them in the mail from uh, Disney. So uh, yeah. Um, one of them is, uh, both of the first two, um, Avengers movies, Avengers, um, Avengers, uh, Age of Ultron, um, since I already have the last two movies on 4K, I felt like maybe I should, um, have the other two on 4K, so I'll have all four of them on 4K if I want to marathon them. Um, so, yeah, it's really nice to have, I wish they had slip covers, but hey, uh, they have slip covers on eBay. Um, probably gonna sell my other two, um, my regular Blu-rays of, uh, um, the first two Avengers films. Uh, speaking of upgrading uh, first two movies, um, I did the same thing with both of the Cloverfield movies. 
um, Cloverfield 1 and uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. I are actually sold um, both of my uh, regular Blu-rays of these two movies um, already on eBay. Um, so, um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, these are probably going to look really good in 4K, so, uh, yeah, um, don't really know what there is much else to say, but, uh, these are both really good movies. Um, um, though, uh, Cloverfield Paradox, we don't talk about that film, okay? Um, I thought about reviewing it, uh, when it was released, but, uh, no, nah, that's not a film I really want to talk about, but, uh, yeah, the, these two, definitely check these two, um, out. They, they're fantastic films. Alright, next up is a movie I didn't actually think would get a 4K release uh, for a while, but uh, hey, this was some Shout Factory, Screen Factory. This was supposed to be released before Christmas, um, but instead it got released um, in January, but that's okay, it's worth the wait. Um, John Carpenter's uh, They Live, really underrated um, sci-fi horror film. Um, I don't remember a whole lot about it, but uh, I did watch it a couple times. First time I watched it, I fell asleep because I watched it like really late, but... I can experience this film on 4K, and it has quite a bit of features on it, so it's really nice to see. Um, but uh, yeah, speaking of uh, John Carpenter, um, I, re I recently saw, not sure if I mentioned this in another video, but I recently saw a re-release of The Thing in the theater. Such a great experience, so yeah, um, yeah it's a good time to be talking about that, because uh, yeah, definitely check this one out if you're a fan of Carpenter. Um, really worth really worth checking out. Um, and the last four films are Disney animated films, okay? First off is uh, Peter Pan. Um, remember watching this one a lot when I was younger. I don't have many of the older classic uh, Disney films, like I don't have the original Cinderella or 101 Dalmatians. I really think I should um, if they're on like uh, the Disney movie rewards, but uh, yeah. At the time, uh, the Blu-ray for this was really expensive, but they re-released it, um, but but yeah, I'm glad that, uh, you know, Disney Blu-rays um, are, are, are very common to find of older films because back then, ooh, did they cost a lot uh, because they just put them back in the vault. But they're not really doing that anymore, so I'm thankful for that. But uh, yeah, I really hope they do put some of their classic movies out on 4K. Uh, but uh, for now, the regular standard Blu-rays will do. I forgot my air conditioner was on. Uh, next up is uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Um, I have Ralph Breaks the Internet on regular Blu-ray because they got on Black Friday. Um, so I might upgrade that to 4K if I find it for a cheaper price. But, uh, yeah, this is certainly going to look great on 4K. Um, no doubt about that. Okay, so, yeah, got that on the Disney movie. Uh, the last two I got from Best Buy for 20 bucks each. Um, like I said, I got the 4K Blu-rays of Toy Story 2 and 3. All I needed was Toy Story 1, and I found Toy Story 1 uh, from Best Buy. Uh, so, yeah, I actually did uh, see a re-release of this in the theater uh, last year, either sometime in November or December, but it was such a great experience. And now I have all four movies on 4K. I do have this on Blu-ray 3D. I think I will keep the Blu-ray 3D just in case. If it were standard Blu-ray, i I just sell it because it's not really anything special other than higher quality, but this is going to be much higher quality, so, yeah. Alright, next up, um, I was gonna, when I went into Best Buy, I was just gonna get that one, but since they were 20 bucks each, um, I also upgraded my 4K, I also upgraded, um, to Wally -E on 4K, uh, just imagine, uh, the look of this film, as well as other movies I can get on 4K from Pixar, like, like, Up, or The Incredibles, it's all just, I'm pretty sure it looks great, and, uh, yeah, I, Still have my regular Blu-ray. Um, I'm selling it on eBay for a reasonable uh, price. I don't want to go too high uh, because that would just be greedy. Wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. But uh, hey, um, you know, I, I just hope it sells because it's kind of cluttering up my my space right now. But uh, yeah, um, but yeah, what is there to say, uh, Wally? Uh, yeah, uh, fantastic film. All right, last but certainly not least, um, this is, you guys are probably actually surprised that I got something like this recently, but I've been really getting nostalgic for um, this series. I don't know if it's because the movie's coming out or what. I, I actually can't believe I actually found a Blu-ray collection of this, and that's Collection 1, Golden Collection Volume 1 of Tom and Jerry, uh, the original cartoon. I actually just watched this and it looks really good on Blu-ray. Um, I don't know why, but I've gotten really nostalgic for Tom and Jerry recently. I mean, it's one of those cartoons that I've watched so much when I was a kid. 
And, uh, yeah, so even if the new movie does suck, I still kind of want to see that in the theater. Just because of how nostalgic this show was for me, okay? I mean, it's, uh, it's honestly much smarter than you could imagine. Like, watching it, like, imagine, back then, as a kid, you were always rooting for Jerry. But nowadays, as you get older, you realize Tom wasn't really the bad guy. But, uh, usually he's just been suffering so much. I mean, not only do dogs beat him up, but his owner does too. Like, oh my god. But, uh, yeah, I've been trying to look for other Blu-rays of this, but, uh, apparently, um, um, I can't, I couldn't really find other that are not released. But this was released back in, like, 2011, I believe. Um, I don't know, but I can't really find any others. But I really hope they do consider releasing like the full full collection on blu-ray because yeah so yeah um but yeah i can't I, i'm not gonna lie i kind of did like the trailer for the new movie I'm, I'm not gonna lie i mean at least tom and jerry look like tom and jerry but i'll explain that more uh when i actually do see the movie and i will have a review for it um but uh yeah anyways uh that is it for uh the the blu-rays and uh my chat with matt uh video um didn't really talk about a whole lot but uh yeah i was out in the snow so i couldn't uh, rush through it but it's actually really late right now it's almost 10 30 and i'm not gonna have this video up to like you know whenever you're watching it but uh yeah anyways uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later word out